Spoke is, Coach Golden talks about the process all the time. You obviously bought in this week and on a short week got really prepared and had a great game. Your best of your career. Um, I tried to come out and make plays with the team, but you know, I have to do better. Better and make a plays. What did you see on that last play in the end zone? Did you feel like you had a chance to get up and grab it? Just had an opportunity to catch the ball. I just didn't make it how do you balance those two things when you yourself are having you know, such a good game with your own personal performance when I mean, the team is doing as good as the whole? I mean, how do you kind of balance those two out as it's going on? Um, just keep looking forward to the play ahead. Um, you know, no matter how much success or you know if, the, if your game isn't going as good, just you know focus on that play ahead. If you, you know, leave everything behind you. Is that a place where you feel like you can take a more vocal role as far as being an example for the rest of the guys? Um, I feel like I could do that, be a more vocal um, leader on this offense. Um, a lot of guys look after me to make plays, and um, you know, I, I have the ear of a lot of guys on the team, and I, that's the role I can develop into. What was the locker room after uh, the game? Just talk about the mood in there. Um, you know, guys were disappointed. Um, you know, we didn't play our best game. We left a lot of plays out down the field, and um, basically quiet in there. The team was pretty banged up going into this game. Can you talk about just the health of the team and what the focus was, knowing that you had to come in here, you know, kind of switching things up in a short week? Um, you know, day in and day out, we try to focus, get that film study, and coaches try to, you know, prepare us for this game by getting our legs back, cutting down our reps, ice pools, things like that to get us ready, being that it was a short week. Um, they did a great job of that. Um, you know, we just got to do our part and perform at a high level on game day. Did you talk about the particular play where you caught it in double coverage for the touchdown and what you saw in that play? Um, it was a basically an a option play for me. I had an option route. Um, I just saw it, it was, we, we had, it, it, if we had a post high safety, I was, you know, had the option to sit it down. Uh, if I was even with him to, you know, take off. And, you know, it was basically on you know, my judgment. You know, as I seen Jacory um, get out of the pocket a little bit, I kind of, you know, sat in between both of them when Jacory was in it. Um, when he threw the ball in the air, I just tried to position myself to make a play. Um, the defenders wasn't really looking, so, you know, just kind of figured at the last second. Of it. Tommy, can you pinpoint why this team consistently kind of starts off slow, and do you think that that probably uh, was what cost you the game tonight? Um, you just have to do a better job of starting fast, um, just being eventually prepared each, each play, in, play in and play out. Um, you know, not, not so much take people out there, take, take the scheme for granted, but um, buy in, and guys just have to do their part and execute. How good are you how, waiting for years? for a game like this, how often does it feel right now that the night you have these kind of numbers comes along? Um, you know, I, I really don't focus on what I did. I just want to help the team win, and um, obviously I didn't do a, um, a good enough job of that. Um, I could have made plays that I did not do that. And, um, you know, in turn, we lost the game. Joe Harris's last pass, that was to you, right? Yes. How close did you come to grab it? I looked like you had a shot at it. Wonder what happened. Gotta go up with my hands. Mm -hmm. Tommy, they had two receivers on you, like all you know, all those deep passes. Were you surprised before you threw some of them, or is that just a sign of the confidence he has in you? Um, you know, I'm not surprised when the ball comes my way. You know, we have to do things day in and day out in practice, and um, you know, he has confidence in me, and I have confidence that you know he'll throw the ball in a good position for me to go get it. So, you know, it's no surprise. Does this maybe sting as much as any defeat this year just because it looked like you guys were starting to get things going and then we're cool? Yeah, this, this one hurt, though. This, this one hurt. You know, being that we just came off two, you know, try to serve and, you know, make that, 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 that step in the right direction and, and get three in. And you know, being this ACC game and, um, you know, just falling short really hard. Can you afford another loss? We have to sweep the table. I feel like we can't afford another loss. You know, that's not our focus on. You know, your focus is to win every game. So, you know, we're just going to go back to practice, you know, work hard, correct our, correct our mistakes, and, you know, try to move in the right direction from here. Is it harder that the next game is not until nine days away? This has to marinate for that one. No, um, I don't think so much. Um, I think we'll, you know, go to practice, um, coach things up, the mistakes, and, um, you know, just put this game behind us. You know, there's a lot of great things we did, and there's a lot of things we can learn from. So, we'll put this one in the bank and just, Focus on getting better for the next year.
Tom, I'm sorry if this was already asked, but how frustrating is it that you guys just came up again a few yards short again? <laughs> just ask me that one. Um, it hurts because, you know, you know, we had a chance to win the game, but um, being that we won two games, we were trying to make a, you know, a leap in the right direction for the, um, you know, the program winning three straight. You know, being that there was an ACC loss, you know, and that hurt itself because it was a conference play. So, you know, we just got to get better from there. I'm going I'm to guess that you, you know, having a kind of career night for yardage really doesn't mean much right now. No, it doesn't mean much without a W. How do you guys move forward from this? Um, just go back to film, study, um, correct the mistakes we made, you know, take the good from the game as well. And, um, you know, just, just, just pinpoint those things we did to kill ourselves. You know, I feel like every time things don't go right, um, it's something we did. Not so much, you know, credit goes to the defense, but a lot of times it is things we do to, um, you know, shoot ourselves in the foot. Are you glad you have a couple extra days maybe to, to get things right? Yeah, a lot of guys are banged up. Um, so, you know, we have this time to, you know, correct our mistakes. First and foremost, and get healthy. Um, you know, we have a weekend, free weekend ahead of ourselves to, you know, get that treatment in, ice, ice pools, and um, you know, just, just focus, focus up and be ready for the next game. I know it's hard to look at positives, but can you talk about your play tonight and 